This is Jose Della Portilla, technical trainer with Linux Industries. Today we're going to talk about the Prodigy 2.0 enhanced controller found in our Linux Energence product line. Our Prodigy 2.0 enhanced controller features a USB connection port for advanced reporting diagnostics as well as a new display and advanced features to allow you to go in and quickly diagnose and set parameters on the controller. Let's go inside the machine and take a look at the Prodigy 2.0 Enhanced Controller. Let's examine the newly redesigned Prodigy 2.0 user interface. At the heart of this interface is a 4 line by 20 character long LCD display with backlight, so you will have proper visibility in most conditions. There are 8 buttons on the new Prodigy 2.0 display dedicated to navigation and value adjustment, plus a help button that you can press at any time for more detailed information about the screen that you're currently viewing. The navigation buttons are black with white text and green arrows. There's the scroll up and down buttons as well as a main menu that you can push at any time. The scroll buttons will allow you to scroll down to the individual menu items, a press of the select button will allow you to dive into that navigation menu, as well as an LED on the face of the display will light up to let you know where you are in the programming options. Again, we can use the scroll arrows to navigate through these menu items. We can select a value. And then we can use the save button to save the setting or the gray up and down arrows to change the value, followed by the save button to continue on to the next variable. The back button will take us back one screen at a time, or the main menu button will take us directly back to the home screen. From the main menu, if we press the back button again, It'll show us the operating mode, the condition of our temperature sensors, what modes of operation are calling, and any current alarms that may exist in the control. The data menu is where we will go to find historical data and information about the unit, such as the history, where we can view alarms, we can clear the current alarm history, we can look at the last serviced information, and a push of the back button will take us back to the data menu. We can look at the condition of all the inputs and outputs connected to the machine, such as the local sensors, which will tell us the condition of the thermostat if connected, tell us the temperature sensors, we have discharge air temperature sensors, or if we have zone temperature sensors that would display their temperature as well, CO2 sensors, your global connection, your occupied status, as well as if the smoke detector is off on alarm or if the discrete inputs are active. Push of the back button will take us back and we can then scroll down to the outputs where with pushing the select button we can now dive in and see what outputs are energized. For example, both our compressors are on, the blower is running, both fans are on, both stages of heating are turned off and the service relay is in the on position. We can push the back button to backwards out through the modules, or we can hit the main menu to go directly back to the home screen. Thanks for joining us today on our review of the new Prodigy 2.0 control board. For more information regarding Prodigy 2.0, please contact your Linux sales representative or visit www.lenuxcommercial.com backslash prodigy.